Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Chris. I'm coming to you from my amazing home studio, <laughs> aka my bedroom. Uh, the fam is out running errands. I think they're buying school supplies or something. Um, but I wanted to give you a, a, a sneak peek at um, this new song that's coming out, talk to you a little bit about the um, story behind it, and um, yeah, see what see what happens. So this is comes out next Friday, so I'm excited to share it with you. I've just been having a blast. Um, I've always been a songwriter um, and a worship leader, but try, I've always been sort of frustrated with what I could record and and release. Um, until recently, I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna start doing it. Plus, technology and and things have come a long way, and my church has been super supportive uh, of. Of helping provide some some stuff I needed to some equipment and software to to really get keep this going. So um, anyway, so this song is called "In This Kingdom," and uh, this the the story behind the song. I, I was getting together with a group of guys trying to write some some songs together, and uh, one of the guys gives a challenge to uh, to write a song on Colossians three. Let me make sure I get this right. Colossians three. I think it was like 12 through 17. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this section here, put on then as God's chosen ones, holy, beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. If if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And so I've always loved taking scripture and, and trying to, to put it to, to put kind of boil it down, find the colors in there and, and bring it to life in a song. Um, and so, so yeah, this is my, my happy place because, uh, I think the, the best thoughts got come from God's word, uh, and they don't change. So the truth doesn't change because God doesn't change. And so, um, anyway, I was, I wrote, I wrote these, this song, uh, actually out at a, by a river in Georgetown, crazy enough. It was fun, uh, with my, my, uh, cheap guitar, acoustic guitar. Um, and so anyway, I'm excited. So I, I wrote this from that sort of challenge. I ended up being the only one actually bringing a song <laughs> from the challenge. Uh, but but then I, uh, I, I wrote this and we've been singing it at our church um, for a little bit. Um, I wrote this woe part, um, uh, which was also an interesting thing. I guess I don't even, I didn't really plan what I'm going to say right now, but hopefully someone will find this interesting out there. But um, let me let me just play you a little bit of this. You can see here's some of the tracks. Uh, uh, and you can see it's got this this vocal part. Let's see, it starts out here. I'm just going to tease you guys a little bit with some of this. Oh, having to freeze all the tracks. Um, but the way this came together was I was actually writing it and recording it somewhat at the same time as I'm finishing out the parts, came up with this vocal part, and I was like, man, this is kind of fun. I want this this chance to make the congregation sort of a, a string section. Um, that, so when we're, when we're doing these musical interludes, the people have something to do. Uh, we usually have scriptures up for them to read, but this is actually like you can sing along with the, the instruments. So, you know, when I introduced the song, I was kind of like, man, you... Uh, you guys get to be the string section on this. So um, I know woes can be hated on by, by some people, especially out in the world, but I thought that was a fun idea to to make this sort of, they call it a gang vocal, a group vocal, um, be actually part of the song. Um, and so, it's funny, I should have frozen this before doing this, but you know, you get what you get. I'm gonna fast forward this. Okay, we've traveled forward in time now. Um, and so yeah, here's the beginning of the song, give you a little sneak peek. Okay, so that's all you get for now. You gotta wait till the next Friday. Uh, but yeah, that that the woes are kind of a fun. Uh, let's see, here's all my woe tracks down here. Um, sadly, it's just me. I, I just pushed forward. I wanted to get all of our worship team to do it someday. I'll plan ahead and and do that. That'll be great. Um, 
but yeah, so that's a fun like unity. Uh, hopefully that in that you know that verse that talks a lot about unity. That's the the, the thrust of this song is like we are one people under God. Um, we are united by who He is and and. Uh, the truth that he's given to us and the grace that he's given to us. And so I think that the O's are hopefully part of that, a picture of that. Um, some more little nuggets about this. Uh, let's see, got all the drums. Uh, so I, when I was writing the song, I used Logic is the program I use, and I just used this, you know, uh, fake robot drummer when I was writing the song. But then we played it um, live enough that uh, my friend Peter Milliken, who's on our worship team, uh, played the drums, uh, real live drums, um, at the same speed, <laughs> but in in the sanctuary. And so I, I had those recorded, and I got to kind of glue all that together. So we actually have, uh, oh, there's the, that's the rhythm. Where's, must have named these the wrong things. Drums, there's the drums, real drums. So yeah, so I got to work on those. So the drums were recorded in our church. Um, I did some rhythmy stuff. There's actually a lot of fun little goofy things going on at that very beginning. Got that guitar going. I got this guitar going. Uh, weird swirly snare going around. That's fun if you're wearing headphones or earbuds. I almost used these Latin percussion things, but uh, they didn't make it in. There, there. Here, here you go. Here's the Easter egg. Uh, I think my wife said it sounded like Dora the Explorer or something, so I didn't do it. <laughs> but let's see what these are. That would have been funny. That's not in there, though. Those things are, are not powered on. Let's see. I wasn't, maybe I wasn't brave enough. Maybe y'all can comment and tell me if I should have actually done that. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't. Uh, okay, so yeah, so I got uh, Peter on drums, and then uh, intern slash friend Keelan Almond uh, played the bass here. Here, let's hear some Keelan bass. He he played. He made up some cool bass lines, especially on the pre-choruses here. Let's see. Yeah, so be, be listening for those cool slides and things Keelan laid down. That was awesome. Um, I wonder if I play some, some uh, Peter only. Let's see. What did you do on the chorus, Peter? He has some cool shuffly stuff in the verses, too. Love that. Good work, Peter. Um, oh, this is funny. On some of the, on the gang vocals, this group vocal, I was trying to make it sound like it wasn't just me. So some of these are actually weirdly pitched down and stuff. Let's see, what, just the vocal. <laughs> some of them sound goofy by themselves, but with the music, it's it's pretty fun. <laughs> Um, and I think this video is getting a little boring, so I'm gonna finish it up here. Also, the AC is really loud. Uh, it's always fun to try to record with in the summer when the AC is fighting Texas. Yeah, I got to play the piano lines. I did some organ, fake organ. I'm not a good organ player. Um, this one was fun, kind of a gospel-y thing. Leslie. Oh yeah. There oh that's something you may not notice unless you knew about it. There's dulcimer happening around. So that was dulcimer and organ dulcimer and electric guitar. My solo buttons aren't working right on this song. I don't know what I did. I broke it. But yeah, you can hear that. Yeah. There's actually dulcimer on a lot of parts in the song. Um yeah, well anyway, there's a sneak peek. That is a longer video than you probably wanted to watch. But, I hope you're excited to listen. I'm excited. Hopefully, um, 
hopefully you love to listen to it, but even more, I hope it makes you want to sing and maybe even dance. That would be awesome. But this is coming out next Friday. Um, so, yep, hope you're ready. See you guys. Have a good one.